Virginia, thank you. We've been talking about this. It is a beautiful natural phenomenon happening off our coast right now. And let's talk about what's actually causing it. Those organisms lighting up the surf. Joining us by phone from the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, Dr. Michael Latz. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Sure, Jim. Thanks for having me. So let's break down the science here or the biology. What is happening off our coast? Well, we're having a bloom meaning there's lots of organisms present of a common member of our coastal phytoplankton. It's a dinoflagellate, which is a single-celled microscopic organism. It's called Lingolidinium polyhedra, and sometimes it just becomes extremely abundant, so much so that during the day it discolors the water, sort of a reddish-brownish color, hence the term red tide, and this organism is bioluminescent, so at night we get these incredible displays of these light shows. It is so beautiful. Does it serve a purpose for the algae that are emitting this light? In nature, the bioluminescence serves to protect them from predators. So a predator will grab them to try to eat them, and that force then triggers this flash of light, which occurs almost instantaneously. But these are single cells, there's no brain, no higher order, order processing. So if they feel force from anything, they will produce flashes of light. So it could be waves breaking, surge, uh, swimming, uh, moving things, ships moving through the water. So anything that agitates them will light them up. And when we say predators, we're talking predators on their level, right? I mean, other tiny little creatures that are out there. Yeah, their predators are also small plankton. And what's interesting is that their bioluminescent flashes can act as a burglar alarm to actually serve as an alarm of light to attract the predators of their predators <laughs> to bring them in. So in this case, the, they're, they're the victim saying help with a light flash. Their predators are like the burglars saying, uh-oh, now I've been, I've been found out, and then the police are the higher order predators coming in to try to eat the burglars. Uh, doctor, you just have to love nature to think of that kind of complexity at such a basic level, as you said, from these uh, single cell organisms, or perhaps not single cell, I forget how you described it, but they're very basic. What about other predators? We know that fish are attracted to light. Sometimes fishermen will put little lights or something that glows in the water. Can this attract bigger fish, especially sharks? Well, you're certainly right that glowing lures is a great way to catch things at night. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, small fish, like bait fish, swimming through the red tide will light themselves up, even though they are not bioluminescent. Just through their swimming actions, they light up, making them more vulnerable to be seen by their predators who otherwise wouldn't be able to see them at night. So it's almost like a minefield for animals swimming through it. They light up, making themselves more vulnerable. Doctor, thank you so much for giving us some extra insight into how this all works. It makes it all the more beautiful. Well, thank you, Jim, and I hope that people are staying safe, but maybe they'll have an opportunity to go to the beaches at night and see it for themselves. Gotcha. We have to do our social distancing, even though the organisms get to crowd out there. Doctor, thank you so much. Dr. Michael Latz, really appreciate it.